What is up, my Mardi Gras crew? I'm back with another banger for you. Yes, I am, y'all. And today I'm eating loaded chili dogs and chili cheese dogs and chili cheese fries. All right. So, yeah, let's eat this food and get into this video. But before we do that, let's say grace. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. May me nurse my body. Lord, bless those that are watching. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, y'all, with everybody, okay? Please. <laughs> All right, let's dig in because I'm starving. Would they say starving like Marvin? Let me try one of these chili cheese fries first. Let me give y'all a look. Steamy. Nice and hot. Oops. Mm. That's good. <laughs> Real bad. Cheese dog. That bark is in the way. Let's move that. Little thumbnail for the peoples. That's so good. Oh, catch up right there. Yes, okay. Yeah, I had to eat something. <clears throat> I had to eat a little bit before I started running my mouth. All right, <clears throat> let's talk, y'all. I really don't have nothing to talk about. <laughs> I don't have anything to talk about. I just, um, I guess, let's just talk about random stuff, like how y'all doing? Mm. I keep telling y'all to so let me know in the comments 
<clears throat> what y'all want to see me eating? with some things you want to see me doing. I actually went shopping earlier and I had something that I wanted to talk about and now, like I should have wrote it down because now I can't even remember what it was, <clears throat> what I wanted to uh, talk about. I was thinking about what are some things that you, you do, that you notice your kids doing that you used to do when you was little. And you know, people used to be like, Oh, you read what you sow, uh, not you read what you sow, sorry. People used to say, um, what you do as a kid, you're going to get it back when you get older. Or if you don't have no kids, you've noticed something that kids do that you used to do. So I was talking to my sister about, um, we're talking about candles and, um, be talking about candles because for my wedding, we're trying to decide, like, do we do real candles or tea candles, the little fake tea candles, real tea candles or the little fake ones, which I haven't asked the venue yet if I can have real candles, but um her daughter is in the wedding and she was saying mm. <clears throat> Her daughter's in the wedding. Her daughter is like three years old, right? She's my flower girl. So she was like, um, you know, you do the real candles. Um, but she said her daughter's name, like, you know, she's going to probably go around and blow all of them out. <laughs> and it made me think about being a kid, like for some reason, um, because my uh, son, now this happened probably like three years ago or two years ago, but I had a, um, ooh, excuse me. I had a Bed Bath & Beyond. I had a red velvet candle, excuse me. I had a red velvet candle and it was in my bathroom, okay? My son goes to use the bathroom and he's taking a long, long time, like not another too long time, like a long time. So I'm just like, and I don't hear anything. So I'm like, what's wrong? <laughs> so 
So I'm like, open the door right now. He opens the door. There's red, because the red velvet candle is red. The wax is red. red. There's red wax all over my bathroom, all over the mirror, like everywhere. The candle's blown out, but there's red wax everywhere. I'm just like, and he had wait, like, you know, the time from when he did it to when I got in there was so long that I was like trying to scrape it up. It had stained areas in the bathroom. And at this time I was living in an apartment. Um, so, you know, my deposit, <laughs> um, So yeah, when she said that, that's what I thought of. But when I was younger, I can remember like playing with my my mom's candles, like just being curious, you know, just being curious. And um, It's a lot of things that I see in my kids. And it's things that I used to do. But as a parent, like, it's hard as a parent because then I think to myself, like, okay, you did that as a kid, so I want to give them leniency. But at the end of the day, I'm the parent. So even though I know I did it when I was younger, I still got to fuss at them, you know? But... <laughs> Do you, have you noticed anything? Like, can you tell me anything in the comments that you've noticed that you did as a kid that your kid is doing now? And it don't have to be like bad. It could be like something that mischief, mischievous. I said that right? Um, it could be something kind of good, you know? When I was younger, I also would take like paper towel napkins. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. I would go in the bathroom, I would light it and then wet it. Stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something mad and do as I did when I was younger. Um Maddie just all over the place like I was when I was younger. And that's where I get my headache from her. And she's a mama's girl. Like, me, well, my grandmother passed away not too long ago. But before my grandmother passed away, she was, Maddie was, my daughter was always under my grandma. My grandma passed away, now she's always under me and my mom. And when I was younger, I was always under my mom, always. It was hard for me to go to college. I was so much under my mom. Mm. Mm -mm. The one thing I hope and that my kids take from me, that my kids take from me and it follows them throughout life is their relationship with God. That's what I hope. Because I wasn't like, I went from being innocent to not innocent to innocent. <laughs> but no matter what changes I went through in life, I always had a relationship with God. And that's very important. You know, you're going to be a kid. You're going to fall short. But just know he's always there. You know what I'm saying? So I hope they follow that. They show signs. My daughter, even with how bad she is, and how much she lies so she don't get in trouble. 
she will pray you a good prayer, okay? She'll come to you and be like, hey, let's pray. My son is very quiet, so he'll only do it if I ask him to do it around me. But there was an incident that happened where he, sh I could see he, he, you know, see his faith or whatever. But uh, so what happened was we just, we had a hurricane that got like, I don't want to say the name of it because, ooh, excuse me, the video I did after the hurricane, after the hurricane, it gave me problems with uploading because I talked about the hurricane. But Hurricane IDA, <laughs> um, we had to evacuate. And on the way home, my fiance said something about, you know, read a book. Like, you know, they, they were all in their phones. And my stepson asked for his phone to be charged. And my fiance was like, you know, read a book or something. And my son my child he said i don't have i don't have uh a, 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 any i only have one book and that's my bible that's the first thing i grabbed when we left to evacuate that's my child <laughs> that was a real proud mom moment to know that your child thought about and i had left mine right on my nightstand but he grabbed his so we had one <laughs> So that let me know his head is in the right place. And I just hope it continues to be that way. Because I know vice is going to throw some hard balls at the, your, you know, at my kids, at, at, at all kids. You know what I'm saying? You're going to run into them mean people, bullies, all types of things, uh, situations where you're, <clears throat> you're going to be tested and it will all fall back on your faith. It, that one thing can change your life, you know? So that's the stuff I worry about as a parent too. I just want my kids to go to lower college and stay home. <laughs> And I drive them everywhere. <gasps> but, yeah. And that just hit me. What were some things that your kids do that you used to do? And um, just them holding on to something that you did and when you were a child and my thing was your relationship with God mm. I really do that I don't know when y'all gonna get this video, but I'm filming it on a Friday. So I got Saturday, the rest of today, Saturday and Sunday, and then Monday is back on eating right. <clears throat> For the past week or two I've been off and on but it's time to get back to some consistency so I can get not really hold on. I don't know just to get to a small point because I don't really feel like I have like a lot to accomplish but I know I have to get there and stay there so yeah All right, I hope y'all enjoyed this video because I enjoyed eating on this video and talking with y'all. So what I need you to do, I need you to go to the comments, talk to your girl, 
Let me know what you want to see me eating. Let me see what, what, what you want to hear me talking about. Me some topics, man. Um, yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I love ya. Peace.